Welcome everyone to the video you've all been waiting for, the winners of the 1000 subscribers Q&A giveaway. Every few questions I'll be announcing a winner, you guys asked a lot of really good questions and without further ado, good luck to all of you and let's get started. I used to ride the train a lot and I kept up with gaming and tech news by watching a lot of YouTube videos. I noticed a lot of gaming news commentators would make extremely long videos. Sometimes they would just literally read word for word whatever a random news article said, and then they would try desperately to make their video last as long as possible. My guess was so that the YouTube algorithm would help promote their video. Same thing with tutorials, and sometimes they would explain things really well, but their camera angles made it really hard to see exactly what they were doing. So I told myself if I ever made a YouTube channel, I would make my gaming news story short, sweet, and to the point, so people could just come in, watch a video, and learn something new, and go on with their day. And if I ever made a tutorial, I would do my best to make it as easy to follow as possible. So one day I was just bored and decided to put my money where my mouth was, and well, I uploaded my first video. New Pokemon, new story, new changes to the Alola region. Sounds good to me. Gloves are not required for my tutorials. The ones I use are actually really bulky and padded, so it's actually really hard to do tutorials with them. Only reason I use them is because, well, I had a nasty cut on my hand one day when I was recording one of my first tutorials, and I didn't want people to be distracted by that. So I just grabbed the nearest pair of gloves I had lying around, and ever since then I kind of made it my thing to always wear gloves for my tutorials. If I could get a pair of gloves with the GTR Bytes logo on them, that would be sweet. So I finally got around to fixing my Wii U gamepad, and I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild lately. Let's announce the first winner. Just as a reminder, winners get to pick from any of these gift cards as their prize. And seeing as how this video was delayed, and you all were very, very patient, I'm adding in a fourth winner. So all winners will be picked at random by random.org, like always. That way everyone has a fair and equal shot. So the fourth place winner of the $20 gift card is... Congratulations, MS Tech. Let me know what gift card you want in the comments down below. I'm always open for video suggestions, and if I can get my hands on whatever it is you want me to do a tutorial on, then sure, I'll go ahead and make one for you. All my YouTube videos up until a month ago were all edited on my MSI GS70 Stealth Pro laptop. Now I use my new Alienware 17. Software-wise, I use PowerDirector for video editing. For audio, I use my Blue Yeti microphone with Audacity and Audition for effects. For gameplay recording, I use the Abram Media Live Gamer Portable Extreme and sometimes Action Screen Recorder, depending on what I need that day. For my tutorials, I use my Nikon D3300 with an LED attachment and a photo cutting mat by Vantage. I want this channel to have a little bit of everything, and not be a dedicated gaming news channel, or top 10 list, or whatever. I want to keep doing more of what I'm currently doing. More tutorials, news stories, gaming facts, tech innovations, analysis videos, but also I want to do custom projects, and a segment called R&D. Sometimes I travel a bit, and if I go anywhere interesting, or see anything cool that's gaming or tech related, I would like to make a video about that. Not sure if it would be vlog style, or more of an informative style, but for sure I would like to bring you guys along. There's a lot more I have planned for this channel, which leads me to my next question. The hardest part about making YouTube videos is time. I just don't have the time I wish I had to pump out videos as frequently as I want to. Sometimes I'll start a video, but by the time I'm done editing it, the info would be outdated and not really worth uploading. Aside from that, the tutorials are the hardest to film by far. They require a lot of planning and hours of filming. Sometimes I'll just throw away the original footage altogether and start from scratch. For example, the PS4 controller cleaning video. I had filmed that, and by the time I was done editing it, I wasn't really happy with the amount of dirt that was on the controller. So I went back and made the controller a hell of a lot dirtier and re-recorded the whole tutorial over again. And my goal with that was, I wanted people to fully understand that if this tutorial could fully clean a dirty PS4 controller like this, then it can clean just about any controller they have, no matter how dirty it is. Alright, time for another winner. Alright guys, we have three winners left to go, so third place winner of the $20 gift card is, congratulations to Nick Roche, and sorry if I mispronounced that, but let me know what gift card you would want in the comments down below as your prize. So if we're going off Rarity alone, then I would have to say it's my limited edition Vines and Roses knife by Emerson. They only made 20 of these, and I gotta say, the camera doesn't do it any justice at all. The design is truly a work of art. I'm going to start adding full gameplay videos when I start Twitch streaming, so keep an eye out for that. 
I feel blessed the channel is growing as fast as it is. This time last year, I only had about 60 subscribers or so, and I hope a year from now the channel continues to grow. But for now, we're still kind of small, but who knows, someday we might just get a play button. I know it sounds kind of boring, but I would buy my dad his dream car. He loves Aston Martins, but I know he could never afford one for himself. Everything I know about cars comes from him, and he's the reason I was actually fortunate enough to buy my childhood dream car. He loaned me some of the money I needed to buy a used E46 M3. He actually taught me how to drive a manual in that car. I loved that car and every single mod I ever did to it. So the second thing I would do is hunt down that car and buy it back and take me and my petrol head friends to the Nordschleife, or Nuremberg ring, and give the old girl a proper spanking around the track just to get reacquainted with it. Two more winners left to go. Second place winner of the $30 gift card is Psydri. Congratulations Psydri, let me know what gift card you want in the comments down below. Any competitive multiplayer game on the Switch is an excellent idea. FIFA is definitely one of those, and it fits into Nintendo's vision of gaming with friends on the go, If we can make a cool video, then I'm open to collab with just about anyone. As for sponsorships, anything that could benefit you guys and help the channel grow, I would be down for. Whether it be things for reviews, discounts for you guys on things like games, or even just things I could give away to you guys. Things like that I would be open to. If I could find a sponsor for future projects like the custom PC build, that would be epic. In short, yes, the graphics look good, the new for hire feature will definitely make every player's experience a little bit different, and who doesn't love the addition of D-Dog, I mean Boomer the Dog. Controversy aside, the story looks interesting, and it's definitely a game I'm gonna keep an eye out for. So first place winner of the $50 gift card is Gamer Guys, and there you have it folks, the winners of the 1000 subscribers Q&A giveaway. Congratulations to all the lucky winners, remember to post what gift card you want in the comments down below. Thank you all once again for the support you've shown this channel, I'll do my part to try and make more time for this channel and to bring you guys bigger and better content. The best is yet to come. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future videos, and until next time, this has been GTR Bytes.